Asia Pop 40. Hello, what's up? I'm Joey, and today we have a very talented and young singer-songwriter joining us here on the show. Her debut single, Let Me Go, is making some serious waves, especially on this side of Asia. So today we're speaking to Fior. What's up? How you doing? Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so good to have you. I've been listening to your music nonstop, and we played it a couple of times too. Uh, but yeah, now we finally get to put the the voice to the face right here, and uh, you're currently in Florida, right? Yes, I am in Florida, the lovely sunshine state, <laughs> as we would say. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you're from Florida, like born and raised. Um, No, actually, I was born in Ca Bakersfield, California oh. and raised in Florida. So, you know, I guess I could say I was raised in Florida. <laughs> so you had a chance to live on either sides of the coast in the States? Yeah, pretty much. I got my fair share of both. <laughs> this might be a controversial question, but which is your favorite side? Florida all the way. <laughs> I love it so much. And by the way, Fior is short for Fioravanti. Is that an Italian last yes, name? Yes, it is. So do you have a musical, like, operatic Italian musical family? I mean, maybe more on, like, the artistic side. Okay. My dad used to be a tour manager, so he knows a thing or two about being with artists and, you know, what goes on in the industry. But um, I know that my grandma was a really great painter, but oh. I, I haven't heard about anybody singing in my Italian side of the family yet. <laughs> oh, I was trying to see if you're, like, the descendants of a great composer. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I mean, I'm sure I would know about that. <laughs> um, you started music at a very young age. You played the heck out of that piano. I've been watching your Instagram and you're amazing at it. When did you start uh, want to get into music? Oh, well, first of all, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Um, I really started playing piano when my dad first got me a small one for Christmas and it, I just really couldn't put it down. I became, became obsessed with it and later on I started to kind of figure out what kind of style of music I like. You know, at a time there was Billy Joel and there was Adele and those two really inspired me to want to learn to play piano. So I took it a little more seriously when I was 12. And since then, I mean, it's really, it's helped a lot with writing music and stuff. I love it. I still can't put it down to this day. <laughs> That's some serious name drops right there. Billy Joel and Adele. So you have like the true like singer songwriting and piano side. And then of course Adele who tends to channel uh, her music through the sadness of her re past relationship, which also ends up being how you did this song, Let Me Go, right? Yes. It's, it's a song about a past relationship. Oh, yes. And, you know, of course, as I say, I love Adele so much, you know, I was inspired. So it's really nice to have come out with my first single and, you know, really feel like Adele taught me so much, you know. <laughs> Who else taught you how to write? Because I hear a little bit more than just Adele in your music. Um, you know, I I really love like Alicia Keys, Ooh. Stevie Nicks. I, I mean, all these amazing women in the music industry have really inspired me to do so much with my work. And I really love storytelling. So it's definitely a mixture of a lot of amazing women artists. I mean, even men too, but you know, we can relate on that stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alicia Keys, huge name drop. I hear that you started piano when you were eight, so I kind of did the math a little bit. Eight and Alicia Keys, that would have been either, what, no one or if I ain't got you, period. Am I right? Um, so actually, if it, if I ain't got you, it was my very first song that I mastered. Oh! And I still to this day played on the piano. It's my favorite song. I love Alicia Keys. It's such a beautiful song. And it sounds so amazing on the piano. So it hasn't gotten old to me yet. She is so good. <laughs> amazing. Another uh, Italian-American too. I think her mom is uh, Italian and uh, slash oh. Irish or something. You learn something new every day. I did there not know go. that. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Let Me Go is about breaking the cycle. But what kind of cycle are we talking about? It's like that manipulative back and forth kind of wanting to commit but won't commit. It's like pulling you back in so that you won't be for anybody else kind of holding on to you without like really giving you what you deserve. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened with somebody that I loved at the time. Um, so for me, Let Me Go is kind of m putting that into my realization and knowing what my worth is and I'm ready to break free. I'm like, please let me go. I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. 
So it's kind of like a tug of war, you know? Uh, sometimes we talk about how people are being manipulative towards us. But it sounds like most of the time it's about us having to break free of the shackles that we put on ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Right? To come to that realization for you, uh, it means that you've, you've really grown out of this. It feels good, you know. I'm happy where I am right now. I'm focused on what's going on in the now, never thinking about the past. Yeah, good. So let me go, everybody, go listen to it. Check out the music video too.、Uh, there's some beautiful、uh, interpretive or contemporary dancing in it. And It really gets you, sets you in the mood.、Uh, a lot of love in the comment section, too. You have a lot of support from your fans.、Yeah. <laughs> What's next for Fior? Are you, are you coming out with an album? Because I, I, I read somewhere that you said you are. So, you know, it's definitely a discussion, it's in the talks.、Um, but we're taking everything kind of slow, you know, since I'm really new into this. I want. People to get to know me a little bit, maybe do a couple singles first, feel it out.、Um, I would absolutely love to do an album. I just would like to create kind of like an audience that wants to follow on this journey and get to know me. And, you know, hopefully sooner than later, I would love to do an album. Okay, cool. So let's get to know you just a little bit. All right, let's ask some really basic questions to build that、um, Wikipedia page for your fans out there. <laughs> All right. When's your birthday? May 8th, 2000. So you are a, do you know your zodiac sign? Taurus? Yeah, I'm a Taurus, the bull. <laughs> <laughs> My dad actually used to call me a bull in the china shop all the time. Oh, really? Because I would knock stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> Clumsy, always breaking stuff. So you're charging ahead with your musical career right now. And、uh, what about favorite? So we talked about musicians, favorite movies that you Ooh, recently watched? That's a tough one because I love movies. I mean, my favorite. And it's totally random, probably has to be American Psycho just、oh. because I love Christian Bale so much. Who doesn't? I know, I know. <laughs> But, it, you know, it's just, you know, my, I get hard eyes every time. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Bale is as handsome as he is talented and committed to the entertainment industry. Exactly. Thank you. Somebody agrees. <laughs> yeah, that is not someone that you easily find in every generation. And,、um, okay, what else should we go? Are you、um, more of a sports person or more of an arts person?、Mm -hmm. I used to dabble a little bit in sports when I was younger, but I think I'm more of an arts person as I've grown up. You know, I, I really love all things art. I love drawing, I love painting, I love, you know, creating fashion. So. You're a model before you're. No, you're definitely a musician before you're a model, but you've tried your hands at the fashion industry, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what's next? I mean, you know, like here we call the trifecta or the triple threat is when you can do modeling, music, and movies. Would you ever venture into that? So, So, actually, before I got into、um, like being serious in the studio, I actually started doing acting and acting classes because you know, I love movies and I, it was also a big passion of mine. And my sister loves acting too, so she really encouraged me to kind of get in the same field as her.、Um, and I really love it. I mean, still to this day, I, I would still be down to be in a movie or a TV show.、Um, okay. So, I'm definitely not shying away from that. <laughs> and I hear you also trying your hands at producing music. So, you're trying to do it all, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would like to be a one man show. <laughs> 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 But with the help of others, of course, you know, I love learning. So,、uh, I love to see you dominate the industry.、Uh, and、uh, this single is、uh, a very great way to start. Yes, yes, As you、yep. say, we have a few more singles waiting and maybe an album on the way. So, keep a lookout for Fior. How do we follow you on Instagram? It's your first and last name, isn't it?、Uh, yeah. Or、uh, if you would like me to spell it,、um, it's I think Instagram, Twitter,、um, and YouTube are all Zoe Fioravanti. So Z O E F I O R A V A N T I,、okay. long last name. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also have a website called officialfior.com. Right on, right on. Okay.、Uh, well, this, this lady is going places. And、uh, thank you so much for joining us here today. We're going to play, play a few more times, Let Me Go. But hopefully, there's a new single for us to play sometime soon. Do you have a timeline? Are we going to have to wait very long?、Or? I'm aiming for March 25th. I'm actually going to film a music video this weekend.、Oh. Um, Um, in California, so、okay. I'm really excited. This is definitely in motion right now. So we're aiming for sometime in March. I think the date most likely would be the 25th. So keep an eye out.、Nice. Okay, it's just、um, before you film the music video, something that we do here in Asia when we want to express、uh, affection is do you know about this? 
the little heart sign because it I looks like so. a little heart sign. Oh! If you remember, which is fine if you don't, if you remember, try to slip that into the music video and I'd see if our Asia Pop 40 fans can't catch it. I just might. Oh, <laughs> cool. <Thank you. laughs> I just might. That's actually really cool. I love that. All right, Phil, thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day. Thank you so much for having me. You as well. Asia Pop 40.